Hello and welcome to this Formlabs webinar. This is a shortened version of the original broadcast. If you'd like to view the content in full, please click on the link below. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining the presentation today. Um, so we'll, we'll be discussing on uh, how 3D printing is impacting or, and why you should be using 3D printing in the development of your unmanned vehicles. Uh, so today's agenda is basically simply going to be the um, I'll introduce myself first, uh, for RVs. Uh, um, we'll discuss light section. Um, we'll also discuss on how you can use the right technology, SLA or SLS, uh, for the right job uh, with materials and um, and some more uh, some user stories as well. And we'll end session with uh, our Q and A session. Why would you want to 3D print uh, uh, your unmanned systems? Uh, what are the advantages? Uh, so. One of the main uh, one of the things is to improve the performance. When it comes to performance, you do it by customizing. Uh, so customizations is one of the fundamental advantages of three D printing for unmanned systems. Um, with this technology, we can create components that are uniquely tailored to the specific needs of each uh, unmanned vehicle, whether it's a drone or a robot or underwater ROV. 3D printing allows us to design and produce parts that are optimized for their intended missions. You know? This level of customization leads to enhanced performance, better functionality, and improved adapt adaptability. From uh, specialized brackets to like integrated components, uh, 3D printing actually empowers us to craft unmanned system with precision and purpose. Okay. Um, one of the, and with customization comes uh, the ability to do complex uh, geometry or generative design. So many unmanned system components such as uh, the aerodynamic parts or intra internal um, structures have complex shapes that are challenging to produce with uh, traditional manufacturing methods. Uh, 3D printing excels in creating intricate and complex geometries without additional tooling or additional processes. The geometry of uh, the components in unmanned systems can be exceptionally in intricate, um, demanding shapes and structures that are difficult or impossible to achieve. Um, other than uh, with methods other than three D printing, so particularly through technologies like SLA and SLS, uh, which excels in these complex geometries, uh, they offer and end up offering a wide range of advantages. Um, so many components uh, within the unmanned systems, uh, such as uh, lightweight yet robust internal structures, um, take advantage of this complex geometry or generative design to maximize uh, things like strength to weight ratio, which is very critical, especially if uh, the drone is a flying drone. Uh, 3D printing can create these structures with precision, uh, with uh, proper precision and enhance the performance overall. Um, drones and underwater vehicles uh, often require streamlined and aerodynamic or hydrodynamic shapes, um, uh, which again can be taken advantage of and produced easily with 3D printing. Um, and in the world of drone design, of course, uh, weight is a very critical factor that directly influences performance, endurance, and payload capacity. Uh, 3D printing, again, offers a unique advantage with its ability to produce components with this lightweight yet robust designs, resulting in several benefits. For aerial unmanned systems like drones, reducing weight basically directly translates to increased flight time. Um, 3D printing allows for the creation of lightweight yet structurally sound components, thus extending the operational duration and range of the systems. Now, if the drone itself is light, um, uh, what it also helps you do is now you can have, uh, or basically you have more capacity for your peripherals, your cameras or sensors um, and payload arms. Um, and for mission critical, these are mission critical tools, which are definitely preferred on um, having a heavier drone. Um, so, 3D printing excels in creating something like uh, intricate lattice structures that are both lightweight and incredibly strong. And these lattice designs can be incorporated into components to reduce the weight while maintaining structural integrity, again, helping you have a better 
performance, um, better fuel capacity, and a better payload capacity. Um, so I'll also dive into a bit of a case study of us, uh, so next tech, uh, next tech's uh, clients. Um, of uh, an exact offers, uh, sorry, uh, the client's unique uh, payloads such as uh, different types of cameras or sensors for agricultural, environmental, or wildlife uh, serving uh, require customized brackets um, for Nexac. Um, and they need to affix all this onto the drone's frame. So those brackets change for every project, sometimes putting the payload further from the fuel source, which can heat up over to, or long distances, or holding it at a different angle. So to design and manufacture these brackets, uh, which need to be strong and durable, Nexec uh, uses a combination of SLS uh, 3D printing, uh, composites, and machining. Their strength is the optimization of the technologies as complements and not substitutes. Um, the Nexec uh, has basically harnessed the power of 3D, print, uh, 3D printing to revolutionize their drone's performance. Uh, they create complex custom parts with precision. They've achieved remarkable results as well. These specialized components optimize uh, aerodynamics. Uh, they reduce weight. They enhance the overall efficiency. The use of 3D printing enables uh, rapid prototyping for them, allowing Nextech to iterate and fine tune the designs swiftly. Uh, so I'll give a I'll show a short video on basically generative design for. I used AI to 3D print this drone. The chassis of my drone has a custom organic shape that was made entirely by my computer. All I did was create a rough form factor for my drone and specify the load forces. My computer then used this info to generate the optimal shape of my drone body. This process is known as generative design. Here's the final design that my computer came up with. The chassis is extremely lightweight and strong, but the real question is, will it fly? I used AI to 3D print this. Sorry. Um, so yeah, the question about will it fly? Yes, it, it flew before it took off. Uh, that's, that's not a big thing. Um, so point number two on why you want to 3D print is uh, to save time, all right? Um, with time, basically, uh, the point number one is uh, rapid prototyping. Now, traditional manufacturing uh, methods involve time-consuming processes like tooling and molds for prototyping. So 3D printing offers uh, rapid prototyping, allowing for quick iteration of designs. And uh, uh, because you do not need tooling in the middle, you are saving quite a lot of time. Um, so 3D printing uh, is basically enabling engineers and designers to create prototypes rapidly, making it easier to iterate uh, and quicker to iterate. This agility is actually crucial, especially in industries where innovation and adoption like, uh, are paramount, uh, like the drone development. Uh, rapid prototyping uh, also minimizes the cost of the prototypes, um, because if you went traditionally way, the traditional manufacturing methods often involve expensive tooling or molds for each design iteration, while the 3D printing eliminates all these uh, costly steps. Uh, the ability to produce uh, functional products swiftly um, significantly shortens the development cycles. Um, unmanned system projects can move from concepts to testing and to refinement in a fraction of the time uh, required compared to traditional manufacturing. Um, prototypes uh, created through 3D printing also allow for real-world testing. They provide invaluable data on how components or systems perform under actual operating conditions. And engineers can create prototypes that closely mimic uh, the final product's geometry and functionality. This level of customization enables highly relevant and realistic testing. And um, so rapid prototyping also encourages an iterative approach to development and designers can quickly identify areas for improvement and make adjustments enhancing the final product's quality. Um, 3D printing prototypes uh, also provide a tangible and visual representation of concepts, making it easier to communicate ideas uh, within teams or with stakeholders, and this aids in collaboration and decision making. So, and um, 
The ability to create uh, test prototypes also reduces uh, development risk. It minimizes the likelihood of unexpected issues arising during later stages of uh, production. Um, yeah. Right. Um, and the other thing on uh, saving time is basically on-demand production. So on-demand production is, is, it is a concept that embodies the essence of adaptability, efficiency, and responsiveness in modern manufacturing. And traditionally, pro uh, production often uh, followed predictable pattern, large inventories uh, had to be maintained. Production schedules had uh, were rigid, the lead times were substantial. Um, however, with the emergence of 3D printing, um, this all has been disrupted um, and offering exciting alternative, uh, which is the on-demand production. It is it's basically a flexibility uh, and it allows us to manufacture unmanned systems components as needed, whether they uh, require a single highly customized part or a small batch of components. Uh, the beauty of 3D printing is that it can accommodate these requests without requiring lengthy setups or costly tooling changes. Um, with on-demand production, you can shift to a just-in-time manufacturing model so we can produce uh, system components precisely when they are needed, eliminating the necessity of large inventories and the storage costs that come with them. The, this leaner approach uh, minimizes inventory management challenges and the risk of overstock and obsolescence. Um, the world of unmanned systems is quite dynamic with missions evolving and technologies advancing at an unprecedented pace. Here, on-demand production shines. It, it can quickly adapt to these shifts, ensuring that components were produced um, or components that are produced remain in alignment with current needs. Um, it's responsive approach that reflects the agility required in the unmanned systems uh, industry, basically. Um, so as 3D printing technology has also become uh, accessible globally, this accessibility means that on-demand production can occur closer to the point of use. It reduces transportation costs and lead times for unmanned system components, making it a very cost-effective uh, global solution as well. Yeah. Um, so coming back to Nextech, Nextech uh, before adding the Fuse One Plus uh, 30 watt uh, printer to their manufacturing capabilities, Nextech was outsourcing 3D prints or machining components um, and during the prototyping phase. So they had batches of small 3D printing components uh, printed on big industrial uh, machines that at a local university, and it took weeks for them to get the parts. Um, so bringing 3D printing in-house sped up their development timeline, allowing them to uh, allow their team to work closely with customers. Um, and when performing unique projects for clients, uh, they, you need to rapidly prototype very complex and intricate parts uh, with high quality finish. They have brackets. Uh, they will add brackets that uh, test their um, And after printing it, they will test their strength, feel, and weight or add a gasket for more insulation and test out fit and usability to make sure that the final solution that they send out to clients um, are of high quality. Uh, the iterative cadence uh, was impossible to maintain when they were outsourcing parts. Um, waiting days or weeks uh, to work on an iteration pushed them closer to the deadline and limited the amount of functional testing possible. So bringing 3D printing in-house uh, has sped up their entire development cycle uh, by a very big margin. Thank you for tuning in to this webinar preview from Formlabs. To view the content in full, please click on the link below. Alternatively, if you'd like to get more information on our products and services, then please visit our website.